Hi guys, in this video we're going to do something that I'd not heard of before, but something that I have had requested from a few of you. So this is a V-Bucks Coins Cake from Fortnite. So we're keeping it nice and simple. So I've just got a small little sponge cake. I've got a five inch one here, but you can do it in whatever size you like. Just going to trim off the top. And I have just stuck it to a cake drum with a little bit of buttercream. And I'm just going to cut it in half. You can cut it into more than two layers if you prefer. And I'm using chocolate buttercream for this one. And I've just got a plain Victoria sponge for the cake itself. Now I did print off a little template of one of the V-Books and I'm just trying to get a circle cutter that's a similar size to the circle inside that. I'm going to push it into my cake and I'm going to cut out a little bit out the middle. Now I decided that I'd cut out the middle and leave the sort of edge rim so it sticks out a little bit in cake but actually after doing it I decided it might have been easier to leave my cake completely flat and just cut out an extra ring in fondant to stick around the edge. So I'm covering my whole cake in my chocolate buttercream. You can use whatever flavoured buttercream you like or if you prefer you can use ganache. So I'm just using a little palette knife. If it's a bit soft just pop it in the fridge for 10 minutes just to firm up the buttercream. So I've covered that. It's a little bit untidy just on some of those edges. Now I've just cut out my template, the letter V, and I've rolled out some icing. Now you can use modeling paste for this if you prefer because it's firm, but I've just used fondant so just careful because it is quite soft. So I've just cut out the V and then just really carefully with a little craft knife I'm cutting the edges at a little bit of an angle. I don't know how well you can see this on my video. So I'm going to do this all the way around the edge. If I hold my hand there you can't, the light doesn't get out as much so you can see the chamfered edges a bit more. So I'm going to cut out the white bits of my template, roll out my white nice and thin and draw around that little curve and I've done that three times. Just check it still fits against my template. So that's ready. So my V and my little curved shapes are just sat to one side while I ice this cake. So for my fondant I've used a tiny bit of blue, like a really really tiny bit of blue with a tiny tiny bit of grey so that we get this real pale grey blue colour. Now I did have a little air bubble under there so can you see the little hole in my top is where I stabbed it with my little craft knife so I will have to close that up and can you see the piece of fondant is big enough because I've only got a small cake board that is covering my board as well just trim that off around the edges and I'm just using a little cake smoother to try and smooth into these edges it's not giving me quite a sharp enough edge so I'm just going to use my little modeling tool so this is a Dresden tool to just go around that circle there just so it's got a little bit more definition and then I'm gonna paint around my board so it's fairly dark and I've got a bit of pale blue and a bit of black that we're mixing together so this is just edible food dusts I'll put links in the description box below the video for where you can get all these from and what it is that I've used and then we're gonna go can you see just on the inside of this circle with a little bit of that gray blue color and let's put a little bit of blue on the edges of our V I don't want to go too dark on the V tiny tiny bit of gray can you see up on the very very edges and then let's try and now put a little line that kind of goes around the center of that circle now I want it to look a little bit shinier so I'm using this hint of blue color which has got a bit of sheen just giving it a light layer of this all over and then we're using a bit of the pale blue now I went quite heavy handed with this so you don't have to use as much as I have done and then we're going to paint this now around the ring keep looking at your template really for where you need to add the shading. So can you see at this top side my shading is kind of on the underneath bit. On the bottom bit it's also on the underneath bit. Let's just try and go a little bit lighter on these bits where light would be shining. And then I've got my letter V, we're just going to put that in the middle. If it doesn't stick just put a tiny dab of water underneath to hold it in place. And I'm going to use my black edible dust to just go around the edge just so we create some more shadows. Going a little bit darker in there. Let's stick our little white light bits on that we've cut out earlier. Just make sure they're evenly positioned. So there's three of them to add. Try and get them as evenly positioned as you can. Once you've got them in place again a tiny dab of water underneath to stick them on. And I'm just going to use a little bit of my pale blue just to dust. Can you see around the edges? It's like a bit of blue light kind of coming out from the side of them. And I'm just going to deepen a bit more shadow in now with some black. Now if you've got an airbrush you can spray on all these colours. I do have an airbrush but I still quite like to use the dust dry with a brush and you're just going to keep going over it really till you're happy so keep darkening the dark areas and then I'm actually using a little bit of white and it's pearlized white just on the areas I want to look even lighter so there it is all finished so it's not one I've heard of before 
but something that you guys had requested. Hope you've enjoyed the video, thank you for watching. If you liked the video be sure to hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment below. You can see more of my tutorials by clicking on the images on screen now. If you haven't already make sure you click the subscribe button to stay up to date with my future tutorials. There are also links in the description box below where you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and more.